Hey guys, so uh, it's been a while since I did a video, but we were, I was just at prayer at Faith Family Church. Um, thank God for a church that believes in prayer every Saturday. We have a lot of different prayer times that are available on their website, um, faithfamilyoh.com, or anyway. Um, the first Saturday of every month, we do specific prayer in the chapel, and today's um, prayer points were about different events we have going on this summer, especially like children's camp. And so we prayed for the kids uh, during that, um, like while they attend camp, that they will see God, experience Him, trust in Him, not have fear, all of these different things, um, that the leaders would have wisdom to see things in them, call out things in them, um, stuff like that, just so that the kids feel special, the kids feel seen, the kids feel God and His love, um, regardless of what they're going through. And so um, Amy, um, her heart is just so precious for kids. Um, she was leading and she was sharing some different things. And one of the things was about not um, judging a child's behavior. So maybe a kid is acting up a little bit, maybe something's going on and um, it would be easy to judge, you know, their heart thinking, okay, they're doing this, they're behaving that way, they're not getting that touch from God. And so just praying for everybody involved too, that they wouldn't say the wrong things, um, they wouldn't judge their behavior or whatever. And so during prayer, I was thinking about these precious weeds. I know it makes totally total sense, right? Um, and so was just thinking about um, not judging the behavior. And so when I think about these weeds behind me, um, they're giant. Some of them are bigger than I am. And I was just thinking not judging the situation so I can see the weeds. Um, but I know that they'll come out. And so I was encouraging a couple ladies uh, afterwards that I was in Los Angeles with and one I served with at Deliverance House um, doing outreach and um, just about expectations and thinking like, I really wanted to get that one. I really wanted more time with her or to do X, Y, Z and shared an experience I had. Um, and so how much I want to go, go, go. And it's difficult sometimes when God's like, not yet, or maybe, um, you know, the Bible talks about planting seeds and watering. So maybe we just needed to water in that moment and not necessarily... Um, see a harvest or whatever, maybe there will be another opportunity down the road, or maybe this was just to soften somebody's heart a little bit or, you know, whatever. And so I was thinking about these weeds again. Um, and so help me put this into words that make sense. Essentially, if I go to pull out these weeds right now, as they are, um, it's going to be difficult, right? So these are thistles. I'm not sure if you can see, you should be cause they're a jungle. Um, they're thistles, right? So they have strong, like deep roots. It's very difficult to get out. And so I can try to pull them and spend a lot of extra effort, like pulling and yanking. Um, maybe I'll get a couple out at the root. Maybe they'll break off, but they're still there, you know, underground. Um, so it might look good on the surface for a moment, but it hasn't been dealt with underneath. And so it's just going to come right back up. Um, and so I was thinking about these encounters when we're like, I just want like, if I could have more time or I want to tell them this right now or spend X, Y, Z, you know, doing whatever. Um, sometimes we have to remind ourselves that God's in control and he knows all things. And so maybe if we're quick to what I want to do right now and try to yank out this, um, thistle, I would spend a lot of extra effort and maybe not have the best result. But if we trust God and maybe just like how I was sharing my experience and um, one of my volunteers was sharing her experience um, or co-leader actually, um, that maybe those are times of watering. And so I was encouraging them with the fact that about these weeds, I always tell them myself and God just uses everything to preach if you'll listen. And um, so much like these weeds, like I just, I know that they're here. I can see them. Um, and I want them gone, but if I just go right now and just try to pull and yank, I'm spending a bunch of extra effort and again, probably won't do the best, um, get the best result because I'll break a lot off underneath. And so what is best for these, and uh, this is a bonus point in case you actually don't care about spiritual things, but um, maybe yard work. If you water, 
your weeds. I'm, I kid you not, test me in this. Like, I don't know where I found this. Maybe God, the Holy Spirit. Like, just, I started doing it years ago, and it has changed my life. If you water these weeds, yes, it looks silly. No, it doesn't make sense. Yes, people look at me sideways when they see me doing it. Water your weeds, especially these thistles, right? They're strong, thick roots, right? And they go deep. Water the weeds, water the weeds, water the weeds. Completely soak and saturate the ground because it softens the ground. So when you go to pull these ginormous weeds, they come out easy and light and you yank and yank, like you don't have to like fight them, right? They come right out. And so much like us, if we try to rush God and it's like, no, but I have this word or I want to talk to this person about that or I want to tell them about Jesus like right now and maybe they're not ready, we won't get the best result, right? But if we trust God and his timing and just be led and be patient and love on them, water the weeds. Don't judge their behavior. Don't judge what you're seeing them go through, uh, how you're hearing them speak, a uh, relationship they might be in or whatever. Don't, don't look at that. Don't like stare at the weeds, right? Just start watering the ground. That's what God does for us, right? He meets us where we're at. He softens our heart. He's just watering the soil of our heart, right? So that in the right time, he'll just take it right out or we'll take it out. He'll say, hey, let's deal with that. And he'll meet us right there. He'll give us the grace, the knowledge, the wisdom, whatever, to maybe, you know, pluck a root of bitterness or resentment or unforgiveness or whatever that is, right? Deal with it. If right now after a tragedy and somebody's not in the right place and somebody tells them to forgive right now, maybe they're not there yet, but water their heart, water the ground of their heart, soften that heart, love them right where they are. Don't look at all the weeds, right? Just water the ground and in the right time, it'll be easy and light for that to come out, right? And so just wanted to encourage somebody with that. Um, it sounded much better in the chapel while we were talking about it. So hopefully uh, God will just be God and the Holy Spirit will speak to you in all of the things. Um, but I, I really liked that. Don't judge that behavior. I needed that. Not just for like little kids that we think might be listening. Anyone. Um, so if you're going to minister to somebody or, or trying to like love on a family member that might be far from God. That, you know, we don't necessarily have to have our way every time and try to, you know, shove things down people's throat or force them into believing or whatever, right? But we can meet them where they're at. We're not denying that these weeds might exist. We're just watering the ground, watering the gar ground. We're softening their heart so at the right time, God could come in or deal with them to pluck it themselves, right? And pull these weeds. It's so easy and light when the ground is watered. I'm not kidding. Even if you want to try this, like, in real life, go go water the weeds in your flower bed. If you're um, like me and you neglected the back side of your house because nobody sees it. Unless you post it on social media. Um, but anyway, so just wanted to encourage, I hope that encourages somebody. Um, we live in a world like everything's public, right? Even things you try to keep private. Um, so we might see a lot of weeds in a lot of people. And if you're like me and do ministry a lot of different places, um, our heart is, at least me personally, like I know what it was like to live with unforgiveness. I know the prison of that, of hatred, resentment, unforgiveness, bitterness, all of the things, right? Addiction, depression, anxiety, suicidal thoughts, all the things, right? It's a prison living that way. And so my heart is, I want to go tell somebody what God did for me and how he helped me overcome because it wasn't about Crystal getting everything right. It was about what Jesus did for me. And he loved me right where I was at just as a sinner. He died for me. And if he did it for me, he did it for everyone. And so my heart is I want the whole world to know that God can radically change your life and you don't have to live in that prison for the rest of your life. But I also have to know, as excited as I would get, that sometimes people aren't ready to hear that right away. And so sometimes you might see this jungle, but you just water, water. Don't go yanking and pulling and wasting all your time and energy for a subpar result, right? This is kingdom principles. Water the ground. Water the ground. Soften the heart. Just love on them. Meet them where they're at. That's what Jesus did for us, right? That's what God does for us. They just met me right where I was at and took my life and did something with it. And so little by little, I had to pluck out some things. Little by little, God just took things. It fell off um, because the closer you get with God, the more those things fall off because it just, 
it doesn't, there's no excitement, there's no desire. You just want to love and please him. So, um, hope that encourages you. Um, also, if you can see, there are some beautiful things in there. So, I just wanted to add that in this flower bed, there's more than just weeds. You can't see it maybe right this second. But if we started clearing out some of that stuff, you will see some flowers. Those are roses back there. There's hostas, a bird bath, a bunch of bird feeders, um, a bush, different things, right? And so just wanted to encourage you, you know, we are created in God's likeness and image. And so there are gifts inside of us. There's characteristics inside of us that are so precious and put there by God. And they might, some might get choked out. Some might get hidden by the weeds because the weeds you know, overtake their like front and center, right? This is all people will see when they come look. They won't like dig in and say, oh, I think there's maybe a flower back there, right? And so much like with people, just understand that, you know, God created them. God has a plan and a purpose for everybody on this earth. And so just love on them, right? I don't, I don't need somebody to tell me that I have weeds in my flower bed. Look, I can see it. I know they're there. I don't need somebody else to tell me, right? But if somebody wanted to water them and help help with that process, when I go to pluck them, pluck those things out of my life, it would be much easier because my heart would be in a better place. My heart would be softened. That ground um, would be softened, right? And so then we could plant new things and better things, right? And so make space there um, so that the weeds can't come back. Fill those spaces. So that is what it is. I uh, just wanted to get that out before I forgot it and before I... Uh, you know, pulled up and got rid of all of my beautiful props. So, uh, water your weeds, spend some time thinking about that. Ask God to help you with that. Water the weeds. Um, we need to do that when our kids are acting crazy. Our marriage is on the rocks, not the rock. I mean, you know, anyway, the bank account is looking empty, right? Whatever that looks like. Um, just trust God to be God and let him lead you and guide you. And uh, the Bible says, as for me and my house, we'll serve the Lord. So if your kids aren't looking like they're serving the Lord, don't look at those weeds, right? Speak the word, meet them where they're at, love on them, train them in the way they should go, all the things, right? So just ask God for whatever wisdom you need um, in whatever situation you find yourself in. And um, don't get distracted by the weeds. Yeah, they're big. They, they look bigger. Some of them are bigger than I am, right? But greater is he that's in me, right? And he can do all things. So we just have to trust him and be led. Don't try to do it in our own strength, in our own power, and yank and yank and yank and spend all this time. If I just water these weeds, they come out. It's so easy and light, guys. I'm not even kidding. Spiritually and naturally, go try this out. Go find an elderly neighbor and do them a favor and pull some weeds. Water the weeds first. They will give you all the looks and just show them and let God speak to you through it. So anyway, love you guys. Hope this encouraged somebody. It definitely encouraged me. And I remember every time when this keeps happening. So even if you do pull all the weeds, you do all the things and see God move in people's life. If it comes back and there's weeds again, start the process all over again. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If he did it before, he can do it again. So, all right. Love you. Thanks for watching. Bye.